Hi guys, hope you're doing well today. As you see, it's a beautiful sunny day here. I was speaking to one of my friends earlier today. It was regarding job and career aspirations. What it is that we want to do for the rest of our career, where we are right now. As you know, it's very difficult not to, as I say, keep up with the Joneses. To look at, see what everyone else has got and trying to match what they've got. And it's, to be honest, it's quite exhausting. And what you're seeing is not actually reality. So I'll give you a key example of that. Somebody, the things that you see people have, for example, a nice car, a nice house, nice things. That is money they've already spent in the past. So they might not be able to afford that right now, but they're still living the kind of lifestyle that you from before. And a key example of that is, for example, this car that I'm driving, this car, which looks very fancy and it is this very nice leather seat, sunroof, all of that kind of stuff. I can't afford that right now. I, I bought this five years ago. This car was a 40,000 pounds, 40,000 pounds. I can't afford that car now, given my financial circumstances. But anybody who perceives or who sees me driving the car or sees me doing what I do throughout the day will think, you're doing okay because you drive a really nice fancy car but that was five years ago not now and i was just very lucky that i bought the car so i don't have any loans or anything on it uh, and similarly you might see somebody in a big fancy house and think wow they're doing amazing but maybe they had already bought that house so you're trying to catch up with people and they've already this is all this is money already spent this is no longer here this is money's gone um and you're trying to chase these people you're just chasing shadows that no longer exist is the classic example of when you see somebody with a lot of money well you can't tell they've got a lot of money they might be a millionaire or a billionaire and they just you know what wearing like a shorts and t-shirts and they're very casual and they're just in amongst us and you never know who they are and they're really really wealthy or you get somebody who's got maybe a thousand pounds in their bank account and they they're splashing it on like designer stuff and they're wearing all the designer names on their chest and kind of like fake rich Okay, so the the true wealth of somebody it doesn't mean they're just splashing out all the cash. But unfortunately, they're the people that we look at and we're trying to chase them. We're trying to chase them and it's very, very exhausting. And it just gets us down, to be honest with you. Um, my friend today said, <laughs> he said to me that I, or people assume that I make a lot of money or I look like I make a lot of money. Um, You know, which might seem, he said the way I come across and things like that. So that's like persona, personality and things like that. Maybe it's the car as well. Maybe it's what I'm wearing. Maybe it's the way I come across. All of that, but it's not true. It's not true. It's just the way it looks. And and also another friend of mine who does um, gardening work, he was telling me that when people move into their new states, it's very easy sell for him. He comes in and he, does, he fixes up somebody's garden, puts a nice fence, nice shed. And what happens is then all the other neighbors also solicit it him for business as well they come and ask him for business uh to do jobs for them because they're trying to keep up with the neighbors once one neighbor does it they're all trying to keep up which is amazing for his business but uh, for everyone else uh, it's it's kind of exhausting it's like really exhausting trying to keep up with that so for me for me that was the biggest thing is trying to not see what other people are doing and trying to keep up with them it's very very exhausting because all that leads to is then you start thinking that you're behind. You're behind some kind of race that we're not. Like we are all just running our own race. And it doesn't matter when you get there. It's your own time frame. Because I don't want people to start getting down and depressed thinking, look what he's doing. He's the same age as me. <laughs> Even worse. He's younger than me and he's doing. he's done a lot more. Oh my God, that's... Man, that'll put you in an early grave thinking like that. He's younger than me and look what he's achieved. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really, yeah, that's going to mess you up real quick. So I'll keep this video short, guys. I could talk all day about this. <laughs> I'll keep this real quick. But takeaway points are, guys, don't let what people own, the things that they own, the assets, this, this car, the houses, their clothes, make you feel like that is the life they're living right now. This could have been a previous wealth from five years ago that they own. 
uh, and they're still living that life and you try to catch up with that five years ago and it goes peaks and troughs peaks and troughs you might be rich at one point then you can be a bit poor life is going easy then it's hard smooth rough you know it's up and down up and down up and down and it's to try to flatten out your emotional your emotional response to all this so you're doing a lot of money super super excited happy you've no longer got that job anymore boom you're way down here then you get a wee promotion boom you're way up there and, and it's just trying to like level this out so we're just not driving ourselves crazy and then i've not even spoken about family i've not even spoken about what this does to your family if you are up and down emotionally you have to be like solid for your your wife and your kids your partner you have to be like a stable foundation this adds a lot of pressure to your relationship if you if they can't rely on you because you're yo-yoing your emotions are up and down like crazy based on you know what your boss says at work or or what your colleagues are doing oh my god do you you'll put so much pressure in your household yeah wow we need to speak a lot more <laughs> about this in the future but this is just a quick one guys so control your emotions guys don't look at what the joneses are doing don't look at what everyone else has got all of this all of this stuff is a facade it's what we had five years ago specifically me what i had five years ago i don't have it now all right guys have a good day